If you go to eBay here in the United States and search under K-pop, you'll find the most expensive item is an excellent condition vinyl pressing of SM Entertainment founder Lee Su-man's 1989 LP New Age 2 for half a million USD. While the world may have been watching this man have a dumpster fire year here in 2023, there are also 23 people watching this item. Doing what exactly I don't know. To think you could fund a Blackpink music video with that sort of money. But I found plenty of other examples of the crazy amounts of money spent in the K-pop universe, and this one is only the tip of the very big iceberg. Starting low and going high, BTS has some of the most expensive photo cards sold in K-pop history. The one that holds the record but the highest bid is Jungkook's photo card for the Butterfly Night event. After 120 bids, the final purchase price was $3,213 for this mock day. Photo cards aren't the only thing armies are willing to dish out tons of money for. They also hold the record for the most expensive K-pop ticket in the world, where one fan spent a total of $38.50 in 2018 for the group's Chicago show. This was back during their Love Yourself World Tour, where BTS performed at smaller venues than they do these days. Supply and demand affected the ticket availability when the group was on an amazing trajectory to superstardom. Fast forward to their world tours in recent years, BTS's resale tickets were going for upwards of $51,125 on Ticketmaster. Whether or not loyal fans took the bait and made the purchase to see BTS one last time before enlistment is another story. Fans aren't the only ones who have expensive taste, though. When it comes to Blackpink music videos, the ladies are seen sporting some of the most expensive outfits in K-pop music videos. Jenny's outfit in the da -da 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 music video, where she sits on a throne with a tiara, reportedly costs 11.5 million Korean won, or 9,700 US dollars. However, that was only the beginning, because the ladies topped the price tags with their Kill This Love music video the next year. Jisoo's outfit was 19 million Korean won, or 16,000 US dollars, while Lisa's was around 20 million Korean won, or 17,000 US dollars, while Jenny's luxurious white Chanel outfit was a whopping 23.5 million Korean won, or 20,000 US dollars. But these ladies weren't the first YG artists to be rocking incredibly expensive wardrobes for their music videos. CL's Versace and Tarja mink fur coat seen in the 2013 Missing You music video reportedly cost $40,000 US dollars at the time. While the fans are gasping to joy about the beautiful coat, I'm sure someone's wallet is screaming in pain. But if you think it's just exclusive to the ladies of YG, resident fashion icon G-Dragon sported a French luxury brand Richard Mille watch for his 2016 SBS Gaio de Jean performance. The watch is the Michelle Yeoh edition before she won her Oscar, as it was to celebrate the release of the movie Crossing Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny. Only five were ever released, therefore it featured a price tag of 547 million Korean won or 461,687 US dollars. However, the watch was found in a resale shop in Hong Kong for 800 million Korean won or 675,399 US dollars. And fast forward to 2023, after Michelle Yeoh's recent Oscar win and worldwide attention, other Michelle Yeoh edition watches by the same designer are now going for upwards of 2 million US dollars. Someone please tell me how I could collect a Dare to Be commission for promoting this watch. At the very least, you all could subscribe to this channel for more awesome K-pop content. There's my promotion for you. G-Dragon is one of the wealthiest K-pop stars in Korea, and thanks to the royalties on his amazing music career, he was able to make the extravagant purchase of the Rolls-Royce Ghost Car. This car, which apparently doesn't make a sound, sold for an unbelievable $650,000 US dollars, making it one of the most expensive car purchases by a K-pop star. Maybe he ought to try an electric vehicle, but you know, to each their own. As you can tell, YG Entertainment invests a lot of money into their artists to showcase the luxurious lifestyles of their acts. For the debut of their newest boy group, Treasure, YG reportedly spent 500 million won or 420,000 US dollars on the debut track, Boy, making it one of the most expensive K-pop debut music videos in recent years. But when it comes to debut music videos, Core Contents Media girl group Gang Kids still takes the cake for one of the most expensive K-pop debut music videos. The company spent around 900,000 US dollars for the seven-part music video for Honey Honey back in 2012. Unfortunately, the girl group's success never met the label's expectation and disbanded after two releases.
Core Contents Media has a history for spending a lot of money on story-driven music videos for its acts comebacks. CCM spent roughly 1 million US dollars on its very popular group Tiara for the Cry Cry and Lovey Dovey music videos, which were produced together. But when it comes to standalone music videos, another high dollar video budget is for Infinite's 2013 track Destiny, where Ulam flew the group out to Los Angeles and rented out some Universal Studios Hollywood sets to film the music video at production cost of approximately 900,000 US dollars. This reminds me of Michael Jackson's video for Scream, which was shot in 1995 for 7 million, for about 14 million in today's dollars. Don't get me wrong, it's epic, but that's a lot of money for a five minute video. Similar to Destiny, BAP's One Shot also cost around 900000 to 950000 US dollars to showcase a full-fledged, story-driven, lavish music video. The video is just under 7 minutes and is packed with scenes fit for a dark mafia-like thriller. It's a highly regarded music video in the fandom and goes down as one of the most expensive K-pop music videos ever created. These are some expensive artistic expressions, but we can talk about K-pop's most expensive music videos without noting SM Entertainment's girl group SES and its 1999 music video Love. The company shot the MV in New York City, which greatly added to the cost of the production, and they reportedly spent around 700,000 US dollars at the time. Adjusted for inflation almost 25 years later, that's upwards of 1.3 million US dollars. This video is truly one of the most expensive of all time. But you would think companies would spend the most on music videos and comebacks, but interestingly, YG founder Yan Hyun Suk revealed that the company spent 2 billion won, or 1.9 million US dollars, just for Big Bang's main world tour of teaser. It ended up becoming the biggest K-pop world tour of all time back in 2015 with 15 countries, 66 shows, 1.5 million attendees, and grossing over $100 million in revenue. So needless to say, the trailer worked. And now that we're getting into the million dollar figures, when it comes to money spent in K-pop, music videos and music production costs factor into a lot of investment it takes for a standard K-pop comeback. But choreography costs are also a part of the expenses for K-pop comebacks. The choreography for Shiny's 2012 hit Sherlock is estimated to have cost around 1 million US dollars. Created by the famed Tony Testa, who choreographed Michael Jackson's This Is It tour, the intricate and demanding choreography took even the very talented Shiny members several months to learn. It's not just choreography and music videos that cost a lot within the K-pop industry. The money invested in training idols for years in singing, dancing, and supporting them as trainees can be costly. SM Entertainment reportedly spent $3 million US dollars training BOA in dancing, singing, multiple languages, and public presentation for her debuts in Korea and Japan. This was in 2002, and adjusted for inflation, that's more than $5 million. But you also have to remember that she debuted at the young age of 13, so she was doing and all of this before she was even a teenager. Not only was her debut monumental and one of the most expensive in history, but she has to be given props for surviving the process. But she's not the only one who went through that process. Blockberry Creative's debut of Luna consisted of giving the 12 girls a pre-debut project across 18 months, including not only training, but many music videos, singles, subunits, creating a lore for a budding fandom, as well as room and board. The cost totaled more than 9 million US dollars. But I guess you could call that a steal considering that BOA cost $3 million for one girl. However, the Luna girls seem to think that a lot of it was taken up by food. The jury is still out on that one. But once you're an established artist and garner millions of fans across the world, you have brands wanting to work with you. Sponsorship deals come from all places and this becomes another great revenue source for an artist and label. In 2021, BTS was on top of the world with its music popularity and world tour, and the group reportedly earned 65 billion won or 55.1 million in just brand deals that year. The group's partnership with McDonald's for that tasty Happy Meal and signature sauce was worth 10 billion won or 8.5 million alone. Many fans, including my ass, were quite happy. And I'm not even kidding, I'm really literally referring to my ass. Because that's where that Happy Meal went straight to. After years of hard work, many artists take their money and make additional extravagant purchases. Most often, they buy a luxury home. And the BTS members each made headlines when they paid cash for their major real estate cribs. Both RM and Jimin purchased their homes in the exclusive 91 Hanam complex back in March 2021 and became neighbors with fellow artist G Dragon. RM dropped 5.7 million US dollars in cash, while Jimin spent 5.3 million. 
But those prices don't even come close to the price tag of G-Dragon's decked out penthouse apartment in the ultra-rich Tongdam district. G-Dragon dropped 16.4 billion Korean won or about 11.8 million US dollars in cash for his place that he has since styled with his own artistic flair. It makes one wonder how much he spent on the furnishings you know he could throw a major party in there. I just asked that he invite me. And within the same district, fellow star IU capitalized on her success as the latest most expensive real estate investor. She purchased her own penthouse in Eterno Chungdam for 11.7 million US dollars. This 2,600 square foot apartment was designed by the award-winning architect Rafael Moneo as his first project in Asia and overlooks the Han River. This property is expected to be completed in September 2023. But it's not just the idols that partake in large purchases. Just this year, SM Entertainment founder Lee Suman sold some of his shares to Hive Corporation for a 14.8% stake in the company. This jaw-dropping purchase cost around 335 million US dollars. The sale was controversial and put a critical spotlight on the companies involved, and Hive recently sold its entire stake to Kakao for 435 million, netting a profit of 87 million US dollars on the deal. Which just goes to show that even entire recording labels can be moved around like chess pieces. High needed this lift though, because in 2022 during a live stream, the BTS members dropped the bombshell that they were planning to take a hiatus as a group. The Korean company promptly lost 1.7 billion of its market value within the first hour of trading after the announcement, and the stocks plummeted a whopping 27.5%. It was an expensive mistake on Hive's part, causing the company to issue statements for damage control. But when it comes to damage control and costly mistakes, the biggest high-profile scandal to ever to hit the K-pop industry wiped out nearly 3.35 trillion, with a T, won, or 2.96 billion US dollars across five major K-pop entertainment companies. The Burning Sun scandal, which took place in 2019, was one of the most damaging and expensive ever in history. YG Entertainment was at the forefront of the headlines and took the biggest hit at the 25% off of its stock price, wiping $193 million in capital from its books in the month after the news broke. Not all expensive things can be glamorous because in the Burning Sun case, some mistakes can stain an entire industry.